Hello everybody and welcome to IC Markets Market Commentary. My name is Tamar Mer from Trade with Precision and today I want to take you through a couple of potential setups that I'm currently stocking on the index market. And I want to start with Germany 40 or the DAX and what I'm looking for, the level that I'm interested in is the 16,000. So let's take a look here. On the daily chart we can see we consolidated underneath this level for quite a while and then we broke sharply above that level we even pinged the all-time highs that was formed back in November 21 so this is the line my blue line is that all-time high and as we can see we tried to break above it so we traded above it but couldn't close above it yet and then we've pulled back released some of the strong buying pressure we had a strong pullback so we went through that 16 thousand level with quite a force but the market was stopped so the sellers were stopped above this previous swing low so the strong swing low that we had over here so so far we've seen some buyers coming back to defend their territory but they haven't yet built momentum underneath this level so what I'm looking for is compressions of price underneath this level in and around the 16,000 I want to see buyers coming back to control this market and I'm looking for a continuation of this move keeping in mind that the 16,200 area could offer some resistance now if we'll take a look at the higher time frame we can see here on the weekly we are in an uptrend clear series of higher highs and higher lows and we're not too overextended however if we check the monthly we can see that what we've got here is a v-shaped move and we are still overextended so that's still a point of cautious on this market the next market that I'm interested in is the Nasdaq and with all the excitement around AI we've seen the market breaking above this resistance level so we also had a bit of consolidation around this area it's around the 13900 area and we broke above it and closed above it as well now I also drew the Fibonacci retracement from the low to the high and we can see that this level around this 13900 area is nesting quite nicely nicely between this 50 to 61 percent retracement so either a pull back into this level to test it from above it might be that the market will be very strong and will not pull back all the way to that level but rather in and around that 14,000 also nice round number and we can see we had consolidation on the lower time frame and two touches on these four hours before this strong buying candle that came through so that's also an area that I'm interested in now if the market will pull back without reacting to this level so like we've seen with Germany 40 that the market just crashed through this level the next area that I'm interested in on the Nasdaq is the previous swing high on the weekly chart and that is around the 13720 area but as the market is showing currently lots of buying momentum so my first point of of interest is that round number of 14,000 now on the flip side if we'll see some sell-off so we do have non-farm payroll number coming in on Friday we have seen PCE numbers coming in higher than expected last week if we'll see a sell-off on the US index market then the one that I'm interested in is the Dow so this is the daily chart and you can see on the daily chart we are still in a downtrend we broke to a lower low so we broke this level of support and resistance which is in and around the round number of 33,000 and what we've done where the bias came through it's actually the breakout level on the way up so we had some 
turning around here from the sellers the buyers took over and this was the breakout area that pushed to a high and then another higher high so there was a lot of buyers strength around that area and we've seen some more buyers coming back to defend that level once again so what I'm looking for so far we haven't been able to make any sort of high we're currently looking like we're potentially going to make a lower high so any signs that the sellers are coming back and the buyers can't push the price any higher and I'll be looking for compressions of price above this 33,000 area with a potential potential for a break and a continuation of this move simply because at this point in time the buyers that were able to push the price to a new higher high from here are unable to do so once again. So the Dow is my favorite for a potential short opportunity if the index market are going to show some weakness and the Nasdaq is my favorite for a potential buying opportunity. Happy trading, everyone. Bye for now.